This is bur oak, which is in the family Phagaceae, the genus Quercus, and the specific epithet is Macrocarpum. So the species name is Quercus macrocarpa. Macrocarpa, macro means large and carpa means fruit. So this is large fruit bur oak. There are actually two different subspecies of bur oak, one with a, an acorn about this size and then one that has an acorn about this size. Many of their other characteristics are fairly similar. We're gonna look at the smaller acorn Macrocarpa. Let's take a closer look at some of its identifying features. The bark of bur oak is fairly distinctive. It's a grayish brown, more on the brown side, with deep furrows. You can see how deep in those go. And these ridges that come to a little bit of a point. And they're fairly narrow as they come to the point of the ridge. And it has a slightly vertical or almost meandering uh, as it goes down the trunk. Baroque is alternately arranged, so a leaf a little ways up and over is another leaf. The, the terminal bud of bur oak uh, clustered at the ends like we've seen in other oaks, and often you'll see a little, this little sort of hair structure that's coming out from, you might only see one or two of those, and it's not on every terminal bud, but if you look around it enough, you should see these little hairs coming out. The twig can be smooth, this is the newest growth, so it's kind of green, but they might be smooth and gray. Or some twigs can develop slightly corky ridges that you can see here. And that can be fairly distinct. If it's not a corky ridge, then it will tend to be just a smooth gray, more like you'd see on this side. The leaves of bur oak, like many oaks, can be variable in both shape and size. So here are two separate leaves from the same tree. This leaf here is probably more characteristic in what you would typically see in guidebooks. So you have rounded lobes narrowing at the base, coming out with these two deep sinuses, and then the more of a club shape with slight rounded lobes, but shallow sinuses. The one over here on the right is fairly common as well, but you won't see it as much in guidebooks, and so it can be misleading when you have these two forms to look at. The fruit of the bur oak are acorns, and here you can see these are just starting to develop, so they'll get larger than this, and you'll see more of the actual acorn. But this top part here, with these little bumps and ridges on it, comes to about three quarters of the entire acorn, so you usually only see a little bit of the acorn sticking out the bottom. On this newer acorn that's just developing, you can see these little hairs kind of coming out and this fringe at the base. So that fringe that's actually tucking in, so you can't even see the acorn in there, it's fairly common to see a fringe along the edge of a bur oak acorn. This is a whole line of bur oak, and when they're grown closer together, their crowns are a little narrower, but you can see they still have a tendency to branch out and have a broader and slightly rounder crown.